Okay guys, I've took two carts and made a crew cab cart. We got the Yerf Dog for a hundred bucks. It had no rear to it. I halfway built the rear end to move it around. Then we bought the Thunder Cart for 150. And I cut the front of the Thunder Cart apart because the welds were breaking on it and stuff. And I welded it up to the back of the Yerf Dog to build the crew cab. Uh, I do have parts coming in. My wife ordered. Uh, we're going to do the air filter kit. And then i uh, going to put a bigger generator tank on here with a fuel gauge so you see how much fuel you have. I just moved the uh, electric start. I moved it from where they initially had it and run it down the frame with zip ties all the way up here, put the key start up here. Um, as far as all of this, I welded on there. Um, the brake setup and stuff was cut off, so I had to put more pedals on there. Um, gotta get tires yet, they still leak down, but you can air them up and they last a little while. The battery is just a cheap Walmart lawn and garden battery. Uh, starts it just fine. Uh, built the battery box and I put a stabilizer on it so, you know, if you're off-road and it don't vibrate loose. Uh, top speed right now is 29 mile an hour with two full-grown 200-pound guys in it. Well, I'm 195. My uncle's 230. And the cart probably weighs... I'm gonna say anywhere from four to 500 pounds. And then you have the Predator 420cc, which I keep covered up uh, because it will not fit my garage at this time. Uh, we originally built this for my kids Christmas so we can all go out and ride. My son's got a small four wheeler he rides. So this is going to ride my baby girls they have seat belts and they do have helmets um but the uh the cart is not done it's it's still a work in progress this uh piece of metal on the front come off a truck bull bar uh the bull bar i actually put on my wife's f-250 and uh that piece the how i mounted the bull bar on her f-250 that piece would not go on there because it would hit the bumper so i took it off and i decided to cut about an inch off of each side and weld it on the front of the cart to have some kind of protection up there. Uh, I built a chain tensioner. The chain chain tensioner is two bolts with a nut holding them together welded and then uh, two smaller bolts that push on each side of the uh, jack shaft block. I had to order the sprocket for it because the thunder cart, when I got it, they had actually rolled the teeth on the sprocket because the chain was so bad. And I ended up ordering a new sprocket off of Amazon and all the other parts that I just ordered, uh, my wife ordered, is coming through Amazon. Uh, some of the parts will be here tomorrow. We'll get more in depth on that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's turning out to be a pretty good build. Uh, I'd like to build more like it. If you would, please like and subscribe. I'm not sponsored. This is a budget build. I'm still well under, uh, let's see. I'm still under $1,000 in this build. So if you have the mindset, I'm not no professional welder. I do everything under the sun, work on cars and everything. I actually have done in-ground pools for almost 20 years now. Um, but getting into the carting, it's a good way to spend your time through the covid uh, and it gives the whole family something to do if you build something like this. Um, I'm probably going to build more carts in the near future. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like my channel. And don't be afraid to ask any questions. If I can answer them, I will answer them for you. Thank you, guys.